Good morning again, Year Ones. Today I have a new book for you called The Fearsome, Frightening, Ferocious Box. And it was written by Francis Watts and David Legg. David Legg actually wrote a book that we've read in here before called Bamboozled. Okay, let's see what's going to happen in this story. No one saw it arrive. No one knew where it came from. No one knew what was inside. Look, there's a big box and it's fallen off the back of this trailer or ute. It looks like there were some ropes holding it down and they've snapped. I wonder what could be inside the box. The first to come across the box was a curious monkey. I wonder what it could be, said monkey. I'll open it. But then the box began to moan. He looks frightened. I hide beneath the slimy weeds which grow in muddy bogs. Concealed among the rotting reeds, I float among the logs. My teeth are sharp, my jaws are wide. Perhaps you'd like to see inside. Open the box if you dare, but danger lies within. Beware. I wonder what it could be. Look at this picture. There's like teeth hiding. There's a fish down here, camouflaged in the reeds. Looks like that's a frog up against that rock and he's blending in. There's a kangaroo. There's some creatures up here. It looks nearly like a flamingo or another kind of bird. What else can you see? Some insects. Hmm. And down here it says, but which creature am I? Your eyes will play tricks. In each scene you search, I could be one of six. Hmm. Maybe I won't open the box, said Monkey to Crocodile, who had come up from behind. There's some kind of horrible beast inside. Ha! It can't be more horrible than me, said Crocodile. Stand aside, scaredy Monkey, and I'll open the box. But... As Crocodile stomped towards it, the box began to groan. Oh, that does sound scary. I drift upon a freezing flow and never feel the cold. A mountain moving through the snow, I'm monstrous to behold. With whiskers and wrinkles and layers of fat, come too close and I'll squash you flat. Open the box if you dare, but danger lies within, beware. So there's more animals hiding. There's a, I think it's a wolf or a fox. And there's like a seal or a walrus. Hmm. On second thoughts, I won't open the box, said Crocodile to Walrus, who'd come up from behind. It's hiding a hideous creature. Hideous? I'll show you, hideous, said Walrus. See you later, crocodile. I'll open the box. But as Walrus waddled towards it, the box began to croak. Look at Walrus. He stopped dead in his tracks, hasn't he? I wonder what it could be. Wow. I see more animals here. I circle above in scorching air with beady eyes and a hungry stare waiting for some tasty snack to lose its footing on the track. If you should hear a dreadful screech, it's too late to run, you're in my reach. Open the box if you dare, but danger lies within, beware. Maybe it's some kind of bird circling above. There's a snake, that looks like a, a crab, it's pincers are there. And there's a bird running. And an eagle or a vulture. Perhaps I shouldn't open the box, said Walrus to Vulture, who'd come up behind. That thing inside sounds fearsome. Fearsome is my middle name, said Vulture. Watch out, Walrus, I'll open the box. But as Vulture flapped towards it, the box began to roar. Where you see a river racing down a rocky mountainside, by the torrent I'll be pacing, there's no place for you to hide. Scramble over slippery stones or face me if you're brave, 
but with just one blow, I'll break your bones and drag you to my cave. Open the box if you dare, but danger lies within. Beware. Hmm. I wonder what lives in a cave. Maybe a bear? And look in this picture. That mountain looks like a bear. And then there's some other, like a tiger down here. That could be a monkey's tail. Some reindeer maybe. And another fish hiding in the rock. You know, opening that box is probably not a good idea, said Vulture to Bear, who had come up behind. Not with that frightening brute inside. I'll be doing the frightening around here, said Bear. Vamoose, Vulture. I'll open the box. But as Bear lumbered towards it, the box began to growl. I wonder what might growl. A lion? In a jungle that's so dense with green, you cannot see blue sky. Shrills and shrieks from mouths unseen send out a warning cry. But giant tree roots make you stumble. Vines and creepers bar your way. You hear my deep bloodthirsty rumble. I'm the hunter, you're my prey. Open the box if you dare, but danger lies within, beware. Looks like there's some snakes. That looks like an elephant. Can you see his big trunk? That's the tree branch and his foot. This one's a little bit harder to see because of the dense bush. Something there, but I can't really make what out make it out what it is. After careful consideration, I've decided not to open the box, said Bear to Tiger, who'd come up behind. A ferocious fiend is about to pounce. Ferocious, you say? I laugh in the face of ferocious, said Tiger. Back off, Bear. I'll open the box. But as Tiger stalked towards it, the box began to wail. Mm. This looks like an eerie picture, doesn't it? Through the woods, a thin mist drifts, round, twisting trunk and bending tree. As darkness falls, a shadow shifts, but what is it you can't quite see? It's drawing nearer on the prowl. You feel its breath upon your brow and hear its haunting, hunting howl. There's no one who can save you now. Open the box if you dare, but danger lies within, beware. There's an owl and a bat. That's some kind of little, he looks really like a wombat, but there wouldn't be a wombat out there, so I'm not quite sure what that is there. I've changed my mind about opening the box, said Tiger to Wolf, who had come up behind. There's something truly terrifying inside. No one's more terrifying than Mr. Wolf, said Wolf. Look and learn, Tiger. I'll open the box. But as Wolf looped towards it, the, the box cried, Open the box and I'll tell you true. It's the last thing you will ever do. Open the box and I will attack. I'm warning you now. Get back, get back. Open the box if you dare, but danger lies within. Beware, beware. Hmm. Very interesting, this animal. Uh, actually, said Wolf, I don't think I'll open the box after all. Wait a minute, said Monkey, who was still curious. We we're a pretty horrible, hideous, fearsome, frightening, ferocious and terrifying bunch of animals. Surely we're a match for the beast in that box. Let's open it together on the count of three. Oh dear, we're gonna find out what's in the box. One, two, three. Are you ready? Boo. <laughs> it's just a little bunny rabbit. but yet they're all still running away. <laughs> I think he was having them on. He was maybe so scared of all those animals in the book that he was trying to pretend that he was some hideous, scary beast when he was really just a little bunny rabbit. I hope you enjoyed the story today, year one, um, and I hope you're still having fun learning at home. So 
keep checking um, the eLearn page and we'll get some more books up there shortly for you.